hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to apply a chroma key effect in adobe premiere pro let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in adobe premiere pro i want you to click the sign up option from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go now to apply a chroma key effect also known as green screen in adobe premiere pro you just have to follow these simple steps of course you need to import the footage that you have which covers the green screen background of any solid color background and the background clip that you want to appear behind the subject in my case i'm going to be dragging and using this file right and that's going to be like a cat so I'm going to resize this maybe around here. Okay. Now for you to be able to use or apply the chroma key effect, go to the effects section or panel. If you can't find it, go to the windows and click the effects which, ha which has the shortcut of shift plus seven right here. And then type in ultra key right here. Now, if you press the Ultra key, you will be forwarded to the effects control. And all you have to do is very quickly click the uh, eye picker or the color picker. And click the background. And there you go. You should be able to use the chroma key effect without any problem here in Adobe Premiere Pro. And now try to play it if you seem that it fits perfectly well with your um, video. Now, if you wanted to move this, obviously you have the option go to the uh, tool here click your you can resize the cat for as long as you want maybe around just here i don't know it's up to you and try to play it from the beginning let's see what we got if we have created a uh, seemingly perfect chroma key effect and with these steps, you should be able to easily perform a chroma key effect in Adobe Premiere Pro and replace your green screen with any background you'd like. All right. It's kind of easy, really. Now, after that, all I have to do is once you're happy with it, you might want to go to the file section. Click the export button and you have the option to export it in a different file format, such as maybe um, MP4, AVI and all these. It's kind of easy, really. All right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one